Good cool morning with Tyler Columbus and Josh Dover here in front of Mile High Stadium. People always want a new stadium. I think this place is fine. That's my opinion. What's yours? Uh, I think I've been in other ones that suck. Yes. I, I, I played out there in Washington. That sucks. It's all right. For 10 more years. You know what it's missing? What? Party deck. Party deck? Party deck. Yeah. Yeah. Really? yeah. 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 Let's, well, well we're, get, we're, get, we're getting there. People just can come to hang out and watch yeah. the game, yeah. you know? Yeah, true. Yeah. Th this might be the only Lombardi trophy yeah. that the uh, Broncos let me use that as a Let year. me use that as yeah, a microphone. Uh, Amazon, 34 bucks, <laughs> very cheap. <laughs> they, in the offseason, Superbook lays out all the points yeah. for every game during the regular season. Right. That's what makes Superbook unique. What were the Broncos favored in this game? So going into this game out in London, before the season began, the Broncos were favored by 10 points. Got it. Uh, by 10 yeah. points. The line is currently at plus 2.5. It was plus 4.5 like four or five days ago. So this line is just moving all over the place. But, yeah, the season began. They were gigantic favorites. So, Joshua Tree, if you don't have any vested interest in either team and you see that line, where do you go? I mean, you go Jacksonville. You have to go Jacksonville. It's odds makers are looking at this game as the Broncos are the Broncos with Russell Wilson. Here we are 10 weeks later, and they're not even as good as the Jacksonville freaking Jaguars. I'm, I'm writing every other team against the Broncos until proven otherwise because they are a bunch of frauds and phonies so far. Oh, <laughs> what? That was strong. Practically a home game for Jacksonville, too. I mean, no they doubt. make this trip practically every single year. Uh, Broncos have not, although Russell Wilson was doing high knees on the plane right <laughs> over there. Can you explain that? I've been on many uh, team charters before, including the Broncos. Yeah. I don't care who you are, unless you're Richard Simmons. <laughs> Why are you running around the aisles exercising? If my teammate was doing high knees on the plane ride over, do, I think I might stick my foot out and trip him. Like, hey, dude, sit down and stop making us all look bad. Watch a movie. Also, who is that for? Who is that for now? Like, are you trying to sell yourself to the team still? Right. Because why are you doing that? Who are you trying to prove that you're all in at all times when you're on a team plane to London? Right. What are you right, doing? Right. I don't get it either. Nuggets, Lakers tonight here in Denver. The Lakers come in 0-3, worst shooting team in the league. The Nuggets, by the way, give up the most points of any team in the league. Something's got to give. The Nuggets are favored in this game. Which way do you guys see this playing? Well, uh, probably no Russ, probably no Michael Porter Jr. Uh, yeah. So you got two uh, big guys down on each side. Uh, I would take the Nuggets. Uh, Nuggets uh, dropped a dumb one the other night, but coming home, Lakers are a bad basketball team, and uh, I'll take the Nuggets. Josh, yeah. this game scares me, though, because the Lakers are desperate. They're a desperate basketball team. They are desperate. You know LeBron's going to be up for it, playing the back-to-back -back MVP, hashtag Serbian basketball yeah. god, but I, they're just no good, man. Uh, you get AG and AD going at it. You got LBJ versus KCP. We got all the letters going on tonight, and plus Nikola Jokic is Nikola Jokic. I think Jamal is going to be up for this game, too, because what in that game you're talking about? Right. Started three for three, eight points. That's how he finished with yeah. eight points. And I think he's a little chapped in the you know what to do, come do out. We have like a, do we have an over under on uh, Lakers jerseys in the stands? Uh, I think there's going to be a lot, but not as many as before. I have an over under of 6.5. Anthony Davis falls on the floor. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Always write the over on Anthony Davis falls on the floor. <laughs> Guys, last night we saw a splendid performance in Madison Square Garden, a yes. brilliant hockey game. Something tells me that could be a preview of the Stanley Cup final. Ooh. What do you guys think about the Avs? winning the West again. What do, you, what do you think of their chances of doing it again in the West? In well, well, first off, just awesome to see Georgiev go out there on his old yes. ice and just ball out. Uh, what, what was it? 44, Pucked 46. Out. Pucked out. Saves. Yeah, 44 saves. Absolutely balled out. You feel great about the goaltending. and you feel great about the Avalanche. Dove, I know you're you're pretty high on uh, them winning the... What, 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 what bet do you like? I like them to win the West at 2-1. Yeah. to one. You could just double up your money at Superbook.com. So, you want to throw a hundo on it? Nice C-note. Turns into 200. Oh, Hold on a if they win the West, to getting to the Western Conference Finals, that's there, or winning the West during the regular season. Winning the West and getting to the Stanley Cup Final. Gotcha. So you gotcha. need to go gotcha. back to the Stanley Cup Final to cash in on that bet. But it's two to one. Georgiev playing great. They're going to get Gabe back. It's like a trade deadline addition when you get the captain coming back after surgery. I love the Avs in the second half of this season. Very good. Any reason why you guys are both wearing sunglasses and I can brave the elements you cannot? Our why? Because I'm not soft. Thanks for watching. <laughs>